Whew. How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. It's not starting the video off at the farm, believe it or not. This is this is one of the more, more recent videos, I guess. One of the first videos in a long time that we haven't started off at the farm or the house or whatever. But we are going to go buy a Pew Pew today uh, at a store. We've got a new toy. It's at home right now. That sounded weird. But we got a new toy at home and we're going to go test it out. But first we need a Pew Pew to put it on, meaning it's a scope. It is a thermal scope. Okay. We're going to be trying to do a little coyote control in my backyard. And I've been, since I got it, I've been playing around with it. And I've seen a bunch of guys in my backyard. So now we need a new Pew Pew to put it on. Well, we're going to see what these guys have. I want to get a really cool gun though. I don't really own very many cool guns. I own a lot of guns, but they're pretty normal. I want a cool gun. That's what we need right here. With the thermal, you could silently crawl around my property. Small terrains on these bad yeah. boys. How much is this? Oh, wow, that's really not that bad. What Look do you think? How fast it goes. Probably not that fast. It's only but I like, but like, you could silently you weave around the property. You know what I mean? Dude, just be in the back, standing up top, looking over with the thermal, just like glass and. You know what I mean? Yeah, this could be a trap deal. and vehicle. Yeah, seriously. Like you just the idea of like being able to drive around silently. Like that's the idea with with thermal at night. We're gonna need some night vision like goggles or something now, for, so we can see. And then you just go on you just go on coyote patrol. You just drive that thing around. You know, down by the pond. Use glasses and boom. There's a coyote. Get out. What do you guys think? Should we should we do a thing where if I get X amount of likes, we buy it? I say a hundred thousand. That's a okay. lot of life. 100,000. This thing would be, it's already outfitted for guns. That's yeah. what I like about That's it. Nice. Like you just jump in this thing and rip. Do you think like it would be fine getting around like the hills and stuff though? Cause it's battery powered. Yeah. Has it got enough horsepower? I think it can stay on the road. Yeah, on your path. Right. You think on the path? Yeah, I think on the path it can do fine. Yeah. Should we do, should we do 100,000? <sighs> Goodness gracious. All right. Well, boys have convinced me here. You need that. Do I need this? You need that. We're debating right now. How fast does it go? How fast does this thing go? Uh, it's, it's 10 hours of gas engine. Okay. It, oh, it's gas. it's gas. So is it not super it's silent? It's it's kind of it's kind of quiet. Okay, I need I think we probably need electric honestly yeah. though. Cuz we're looking to do like n like night vision hunting yeah. and like patrol. So it's yeah. got to be pretty silent. Yeah. And this yeah, isn't that uh, this isn't super super quiet. Let's put it this way. 100,000 likes, we'll get something. Either we'll buy a golf cart or make one of the mules silent. I don't know. The battery kind of sca battery powered scares me. Just don't yeah. I just don't think there's much power behind yeah. battery powered stuff. Can we can we turn it on? Dude. I just want to see how loud it is, bro. Well, we're going to turn this thing on. We see it's just like it, it's perfect, but I just want to make sure it's quiet enough, you know, where we can patrol around. Cuz that's what we did in Texas. Yeah, it was we we weren't, we weren't even in like a it was like, like a, a it was just a regular, but it was like but it was quieter, so you know. Quiet. That's just it. You, you got to make it quiet. So we're, we'll turn this on and see see how loud it is and see what the opportunities are for quieting the muffler. And if this video gets 100,000 likes then we'll buy it, I guess. All right. Let's see how quiet it is. I think the battery yeah, might be dead. The battery's, battery's dead. dead. Dang it. It's a uh, 50 cal. Bro, oh god, why is it so heavy? Oh, dude, that's literally like 50 pounds. That's you could kill a coyote thing. from like three miles that's away. That's the last thing you need. You just see a little speck of white and just start rainbowing around. You see that around. price tag? You do not need that. Yeah, probably not. This is the new CMMG. It's a Banshee. Banshee. Okay. And a 10 millimeter. 10 mil. With a 32 round oh, stick. Oh god. Dude, that's a little fun. That's a little fun gun yeah. right there, boys. I need something to put a uh, thermal on. Some like longer range coyote. 6.5 Creedmoor? I was thinking that, but someone also told me that gun compared to uh, an AR-15 is a little heavy. If you're gonna be walking around with it. But I would like to look at the 6.5s just to have something different. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, that's sick. That thing's pretty sick. It's awesome. So this is called an AR-10. AR-10. Got it. Built on the. Yeah, it's not. Pack. It's not that bad, is it? Yeah, that would be the coyote killer right there. So what's the difference between the 6.5 and the 223? It's just a bigger round. Yes. Is it faster? Is it faster? Mm -hmm. Really? So you think for for a longer range coyote hunt, that would be better than a long sleek bullet sliced through the wind better? Okay. Damn, this one. I know that tan is sick. The that's tan is just that real weight is on. That's 308. 308. Yeah, the tan is just. God, it just looks cool. So that's your, that's the only 6.5 you've got in the yes. AR-10 style, I guess. I have the Smith 6.52. Okay, what's the difference? One's a SIG, or this one's a fixed stock gun. Okay, that one's, one's adjustable. adjustable. Mm -hmm. hmm. So adjustable versus non-adjustable is pretty much the only, yeah. and a little bit of price. Is, this, is there any difference in heaviness? Not really, no, I don't think so. so. Nah, they're about the same. Yeah, I feel like a 6.5 would be yeah. what we want. You like the adjustable? I like the adjustable. It's cheaper. I like the feel of that one better. The grip and stuff is nicer, but yeah, this is also cheaper. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's the one. 
coyote, the, ne the next. I think it's the killer. The next coyote killing machine. All right. Well, that works for me. That one. Yes. Perfect. Sir. Well, there you go. That was easy. We went with a six five. Rob's a big six five guy. He loves a six five Creedmoor. Never. I've shot one before, but I've never owned one. So the difference between that and what I have now is it's bigger, heavier bull. It actually goes faster, which is what we're gonna want for the long range. Plus, you can use it for deer hunting too. So now we got another deer hunting rifle. That was easy. What, what's the strap? Is this for shotgun, Sponzo? Can we use that for waterfowl? I would How many does that no. hold? Ten. You just snow geese. You can use it for snow geese. Dude, that would be pretty sick. It looks like a fun farm toy. Which one? Oh, that does. Nine mil. Over it. I've got a ton of nine mil. I know, right? Dude, that would be a good dispatch gun. It's just like, whoosh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just whip out the whip out the stock. That's what we need right there. Yeah. That's a twenty two. Eh? Twenty two LR. Dang, that's what we need for the dispatch gun. Yeah. Imagine dispatching all the animals with freaking freedom. Look at that thing. America. Shoo! How's it going, folks? It is the next day. Look at it. We are in a winter freaking wonderland now. It's blizzarding out here. We decided, hey, let's go side in this gun. So we're down at the farm uh, because we want to go hunt in the backyard today. And well, you don't really want to go side in your gun where you're going to be hunting in a few hours. You know what I mean? So we're going to steal Kyle's shop here for a second. I mean, we're not really, do we're not going to side it in here, but we're going to try to build the target. So you saw we went and we bought a target um, and we're going to try to put it together here or at least get it somewhat figured out and then probably go take it out down yonder and then do some shooting. But I mean, I don't really know how well it's going to work to side in a thermal when it's snowing like this. I don't know. And uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys the gun, the thermal, the targets. I'll show you guys all that in a bit, and we're gonna get to shooting. And hopefully, we get a coyote down on the ground in the backyard tonight. You stay tuned. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, folks. Oh, you weren't counting? No, I was you count. I think it was like 60. 60? Yeah, I'd say that's about 60. We'll start, we'll start with that. We'll try to side it in at 60 and we'll see if we need to go any further. Looky here! This is the new baby. What what brand was Savage? It's a MSR 10, AR10. And it's 6.5 Creamer. And then we've got the new scope. This is a Thermion. This guy right there. Pulsar. I think it's a X. XP50, I want to say that. Pulsar, yeah, Pulsar, Thermion, uh, XP50. See, I know my stuff. This is a thermal, okay? Huge shout out to Ultimate Night Vision, guys. I'll link them down below. They are the ones that John and I, we actually went hog hunting with, and I called him, like, dude, what do I need? I want the best of the best. I want something that's going to put the cows down on the ground. So he helped me out picking this thing out, and if you guys want anything thermal, night vision, anything dope related, it'll be linked down below. Go check them out. They're really awesome dudes. They helped me. Like, I straight up called them up, and I'm like, hey, how do you sight this thing in? Walked me through the whole thing. They're really, really awesome guys. And we're going to try to get this thing sighted in. Try to keep it as dry as possible. It's, it's uh, obviously snowing. We kind of pulled up under this little overhang, and we've got a target around 60-ish. And the one thing that I, I don't know how well I'm going to do at this. One thing, this thing does record, so you guys are going to see what I see through this today, um, and when we go hunting, of course, is it's one shot, zero, which means you you take one shot and it's zeroed in no matter what which is blowing my mind i mean i i can't wait to even just try to figure this thing out but basically you shoot it freeze frames it you kind of like toggle up the crosshairs to where you hit and you're zeroed in and then you, you you double check it so you really have to shoot this gun one single time not wasting ammo in order to uh in order to sight it in that's the beauty of having this this scope on here so we're gonna get it loaded up gotta get some ear pro on so i'm sure it's not gonna be quiet and uh see how close we get to this target you stay tuned Good lord. Pretty Talk big. about a kager. That's a it's short and stubby like you, buddy. It's a kager. <laughs> you, know I mean? you even got a comment, do you? Dude, that thing's I hadn't even seen it. But it's just got a lot more powder and it's just a kager. That's a killing SOB right there, boy. I'll do some damage. You better watch out. Ew! She's hot. Okay, flip the old scoper out. Turn it on. Oh god, yeah. The target's glowing. Alright, let me hit the record button. Hopefully this thing works. I tried recording with it once and I messed it up. Dude, look through this. It's glowing white. Oh, and dude. that's only at 2x. That's cool. Yeah, it's easy. So this thing goes up to 16x. I mean, we're planning on sniping. Like, if we physically see a coyote, even if it's at 300, 400 yards, we're rainbowing it. All right. So let's see if uh, see if I can get through the menu here and figure out what's what's the strat. Okay, this is interesting. I'll see if this works. Where's my target? There she is. Oh God, yeah. No idea where I hit. Oh, that was loud. That is really loud. That was real loud. That you is really loud. You can feel that. Did I hit it? I think so. I think you're on the right side. On the right it. side. I'm pretty sure oh, you're on the right wait. middle. 
Oh, okay. Can you see that hooking? I messed right up. Middle. There you go. Rip. I'm ready for ready for deer season next year though. <laughs> Got my hunter's orange on. Uh, we moved it closer. Cause I suck. Boys, good. ready for round two? Hopefully I don't suck so bad. Alright, ready boys? Yep. Iron the hole. Did I hit it? Can't tell. Yeah, you did. I did? Yeah, I, I heard the ding. ding. Yeah. And I saw it Isn't move. there a mark on the right side again? I thought I heard it too. Okay. Alright, I know where it's at. Okay. I'll zero that in. I think I hit it pretty darn close to the center there. Yeah. You see it right at the, at the bottom of the spray paint? Yeah. Let's go look, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think it's pretty neat. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at that. That was the first one. Yeah, so I, I, all I did was I went straight on the x-axis right to that corner and zeroed it in in the middle. Geometry. Geometry or something. See, I went to school. I really wish I could see something to aim at. Like, I'm trying to aim in the, the middle, yeah, obviously. It's white. But the it's just white. It's like just white. What could you do? Was this your second shot right there? Yeah. yeah. yeah could you see the shot on no. there? No. Mm -mm. Surprisingly, I couldn't. Hmm. I mean, I could try a different, uh, I'm using just hot mode. white. You could use a different I could mode. try like maybe a rainbow or something. I mean, it was on, but again, it's like I could have been aiming here when I shot because I was breathing and then yeah. this is only at 50, you go out to 200 yeah. and that, you know, three inch difference is going to be a foot yeah. or something. I don't really know exactly, More. but you guys get the idea. I need to find a way to aim on something yeah. and shoot just because if, if you dial in very precise at 50, you're pretty much good. Yeah. But if you're off a couple inches at 50, you could be off. I would say just keep doing it at 50. So what, anyone have an idea on what we could play? up there to different mode i don't think anything you put up there is gonna matter mm. you put some snow in the middle i mean is that gonna attack that though i don't know honestly i mean the snows on the gun is like not the same color it's as dark that's what yeah. i'm saying so, so it's just gotta be snow right there you could try is it gonna work i don't know yeah if it's gonna hold stick. that on there there you go Ooh. there we go we'll see okay wow you can tell we're really good at sighting and guns <laughs> yeah i think i'll be able to see it this should be black and it should be black should be white so i'll aim for that and see how close i get Alright, boys ready? Oh yeah, she's still there enough. I think I see it. It's a little, it's higher than the other one. Let me shoot again. That was good center. Yeah, let me go, we'll go look at that one. That one I felt good when I pulled the trigger, it was in the center. Yeah. Kind of hard to stabilize this thing, yeah. especially when you have to sit. <laughs> You gotta give it one of these, you know. Not bad, but again, it's it's tough to tell where the snow was. I mean, I want to say I was probably aiming maybe here. Yeah. What if I tried to aim up here with the smaller target? Would that make more sense? Yeah. Let's try to aim right here. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can tell that's smaller. Yeah. Cause shooting that big of a target is kind of tough to tell. Yeah. That's good enough. All right, this is the final, final shot for accuracy. And I can't see it, but that's all right. All right, in the hole. This one, the right side of the Okay, yeah. so tweak it a little bit. That's how the other ones were shooting too, so yeah. good to know. Okay, she's saved. All right, in the hole, boys. High. It looks like it's, it's very like the top of the right head. at the top. Let me try one more. Dead center in the head. That's gonna be low. Yeah. Let's go look at those. That was the uh, that was the original. Yep. And then I adjusted it. to there, and I hit th looks like three or two, at least two. These were the last two. Yeah. That was the four. When I said I I think I was aiming low. I think I need to drop it down a little bit. Yeah because I said low, Amy. like I was shooting yeah. here, and it hit there. It's definitely centered left to right. I just need to go, I just need to drop it down on the Y axis It's a in the bit. bag, hooking. Perfect. I like this gun though. Yeah. It's just a little bit more powerful than the, mm -hmm. the old two, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right, four, we're gonna go with four. You ready? That looks dead center, boy. Low, probably. I think we're spot on there. 
check them one more time and move it on out. That ain't a bad group. That was one I called low. I knew I pulled the trigger low. But I mean, I'm aiming here and I hit three there. I say that's a Good. that's a dead guy out there, boy. Yeah. I say let's move it all the way back just to make sure, like to the road yeah. there. Yeah. And if it's on, I think we're good to go. There you go. Shoo. All right, I'm gonna try aiming more in the middle here for these next few. Let's see, what do you think, 80? Yeah. Ooh. Not quite 100? Yeah, probably about 80. All right. All right, this is the final round. I'm gonna take two shots if they're on. You boys are up. All right, fire in the hole. Oh, I forgot ear pro. Oh my <laughs> God, I can't hear anything. Oh. You hit the snowball. I, I aimed right at the snow. Wow, I don't think I've ever had my ears hurt this bad. I got murked. I took out the ear pro and forgot to put it back in. I got a concussion, dude. <laughs> dude, this is bad. <laughs> like, bad. I think I hit about where it was, huh? But I mean, I definitely aimed right at the snow. Wow. Always wear your My ears are thing. bleeding. Yeah, I would say it's about on. It's your boys' turn now. All right. I need to go get a hearing aid or something. Where are you, where are you aiming? I just set black part on there, where the snowball was. Where the snowball was, okay. Wow. It's pretty on the center. Because mine was right above the orange spray paint. Yeah, see, I think mine was just a little low lower, into the right. Right? Lower yeah. to the right? Yeah, just low. All right, hook in your up, daddy. Put it on safe before we get murked. Oh boy. All right, hook, daddy. Don't hurt yourself now, kid. You see it? Holy crap. You see it? Yeah, I see it. So you got to find the middle of your crosshairs first. All right, hold it's on. kind of hard. Were you aiming the center of it or what? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's so touchy. All right, put it on safe. Let's go look. Yeah, yeah, about the same, man, yeah ours is about, about the same. same. It's different. Yeah, see, so the snowball was here. Bonzo hit here. I hit here. Hooking to Narnia over there. But <laughs> you would hit the ass side of the coyote. But yeah. good news with this round, it won't matter. He's done dealing. He's a done deal. Well, she sided in. Time to go hunting tonight. Boys ready for the mission? Oh yeah, we're ready. Got the call? Yep. How you feeling? Oh, Simon's yeah. here. You've been yeah. slaying yotes, buddy. What's the strat? You tell me. I don't know. I'm just a lucky man, I guess. Really? This is not an operation for you. You will scare the coyotes away. Hold tight, comrade. We'll be back. All right, we got mission. Okay, we, we had this super sick idea. You know, I have this night vision camera, and uh, it's like this camcorder that films in night vision. Don't know where it's at. We literally tore, tore my entire house apart. Couldn't find it. So you guys, it is not gonna be as cool as we had hoped. We had hoped that um, you guys will be able to see kind of everything from our perspective. But the plan is we're gonna take the coyote call. We're gonna set it up on the hill about 150 yards away from my house, come back, go through the house, and hunt from my back deck and use that as a shooting rest. The reason why we want to do it up there is because you can, it's a pretty high point. You can see ever. So even if a coyote comes from, I know you guys can't see anything, but they come from over there or around there, basically like you're going to be able to see them. It's going to be our best vantage point. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to go try to set the call out. Time check. What's the time check? Anyone? Well, you look at your watch, like the, back in the day. Yeah, I don't have that swag anymore. I'm oh, sorry. 7.30. It's 7.30. So we're not hunting in the middle of the night. It just got dark. May or may not be good. But we usually hear, I mean, right around dark, we hear the coyotes. We hadn't really been listening for him tonight, but we're gonna quietly venture to the top of the hill, set the call out, and come back, get the gun, go to the back deck, and hopefully shoot my first coyote in my backyard and first thermal coyote ever. The the scope also records, if you guys, as you guys kind of know, so you'll see some of it. It just you won't see me, which is probably fine for most of you guys. Anyways, let's go put the call out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. I know you guys can't see anything, but we got the call out. The house is over there. We still need to take all the lights out. We're probably gonna wait like 30 minutes though, just cause it's really loud with us walking. And then we'll come out here, turn the call on, and see what we see. All right, we made it back. That was the loudest walking I've ever heard in my life. We're going to, uh, well one thing, I wanna see if I can get the bipod attached from, well we have a new bipod, but get it detached from the AR, the new gun, and then pitch out the whole house, turn it black, and then see if something comes in. Okay, turn up that gun. Transfer it to the new gun. That's better. All right. My mounting bracket's just a little drink. I need a new one, but check that out. Just made it really cool. All right. and, and then it goes longer too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Hook them suckers out. Full sniper mode, boys. All right, ready. All right, 70,000 minutes later, we got it fixed. It's not rattly. We're gonna get the scope ready to go and get the bullets in it. We're ready. All right, go ahead and, uh, what are you starting with? Rapid distress. What volume? What's it go out of, 20? Yeah, 10. 
10. Try 10. I missed it. There's two of them. I thought I was on them. Two of them, dude, came right up. That's crazy. I <laughs> yeah, I forgot of your pro boys. Yeah. I, I didn't get a good hit on them if I did. I thought I was on them pretty good. Where were they? Like right, They went up to the call. They were on top of this hill right oh here. Oh my goodness. Two of, them. two of them, bro. I was trying to shoot them on the run. Yeah. I was probably leading them too much, but... No, they, dude, they was like... It, was a, it wasn't like a super perfect shot on them. Like he was facing us when I went... It just looked right at us. There's yeah. two dogs right on the hill, bro. That's crazy. This we've, been is, out here, we've been out here for five minutes. This, that literally was four minutes and 13 yeah. seconds. It's We'll just chill for a second. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Oh, dude, my ears are gone. Absolutely gone. Like the whole floor, like Yeah, no, it's so loud. Well, folks, I cannot hear anything, and I suck. Literally four minutes deep. What's going on in here? Is it haunted? I guess my house is haunted. That's nice. I suck. Two... Coyotes came in to the call, literally up on the hill. We're gonna review the footage and see if I missed or if the gun, you know, is just not sighted in to what we were hoping. My lead shots, I was probably leading them too much. This is my first time using this gun, so I definitely need some more practice with it, but we're gonna review the footage and, and see what it looks like. No. Oh, yep, there they are. Oh my god. Dude, so I'm panning around. I wanna see the instant that I actually saw them. Right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I must not have seen them. Well, unless I said they're right there and then I'm lining. Oh, I'm lining it up right now. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him oh right there. Oh my god. Look at him right there. Look at him. So this, I was about shot, and then he moved, and then he moved, and then I. This is me squeaking. I was on him. Go back. That's the shot. You yeah, but see, I was. I mean, I didn't mean to aim that high, but yeah. think about it. We we sighted it in at 50 yards. Dude, that should have been a dead dead dog. Yeah. You know, I wish like I told you the distance. That's the problem. We need to, we need to, I mean, we might need to just range it in for further, mm -hmm. but seriously, that's the shot. I mean, it was right on it. Oh, wow. That thing took off. And that was behind it for sure. Oh my God. And then I was just, yeah, I was shooting lead shots like crazy. And then I lost it. And then the other one's gone. Is that not the craziest thing you've it's ever so seen? Crazy, Cause like, I couldn't see anything. No, you can see anything. Oh, and I'm just like, bro, there's coyotes right there. Wow. I think we need binos so I can tell like the distance. Yeah. Dude, that just, it still baffles me. Cause if like you were to take me back and be like, if you could have redone anything, knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have changed anything. I was aiming a little bit high on like unintentionally. I mean, obviously like I should have been aiming a little closer yeah. to it, to its head and like it's, but like, dude, even if you hit it in the back with this gun, it's, it's gone. Like it, yeah. it's not going to matter. I mean, it's a little high, but again, we sighted it at 50. You would think there'd be a little bit of a drop, but maybe not. But I mean, even if it if it hit anywhere in there, it, it'll bleed out. I mean, that's such will, a big it'll, round. It'll die, but I'm I just I really need practice of this gun. Honestly, we need it. We need to set it up at a legit 100 yards, a legit 200 yards, and and and, and you know, look at the dots and see. You know, is that 100? Is that 200? Like, I don't know even what we're shooting at either. I mean, that's an easy. You look up, it's like, oh, that hill's 150 yards. Mm -hmm. God, dude, that should have been a dead coyote. That was that was way high. And that last shot was just a Hail Mary. I'm not even that mad I didn't get it. I mean, I'm a little mad, but like I'm more mad because I know that is gonna be the easiest opportunity we, we are gonna have. It's gonna be way harder now because that we just educated both coyotes a lot, which I don't like doing, And I, but like I did everything I thought. We went sided it in, like we thought it was fairly accurate, but again, you're talking about an inch. It could be off. I think we need to really get a shooting, like take this to either shooting range or build a shooting range and like really set it down. Get this thing zero to zero, like within an inch groupings. And then don't, basically don't go hunting until that. But I say we at least go take the mule out there and see if there's blood. I mean, yeah. who knows? Maybe it just tumbled off and we actually got it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't expect to, any more coyotes to come out until maybe like after midnight, which I'm not about to stay up that late. So uh, well, let's go see if we got them. Millie, we are straight cheeks, my friend. 
The dog that is coming after you, your little fluffy butt. We cannot defend the house. Oh, we can defend the house. We can scare it at least. That's about all we're good for. Us. We've come to the conclusion we just need to take it to the range yeah, more, or tomorrow. build a range, or do something where tomorrow it's like we need to get it dialed, like to a point where like you're ten for ten, very very tight groups. Again, this is my my own, you know, my first time really hunt, hunting with the gun. I'm not like super confident with it yet. I thought my shot was all right. It was a little bit to the left. Could have been a little to the right. Maybe a hair high. If if the gun's shooting a little bit high at all, I think we probably I probably shot over it. But again, it wasn't like that far off. I I should have I should have aimed a little bit lower. But you know. Shoulda, woulda, coulda type thing. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do, um, drop some comments down below. We're, we'll do it again. And uh, go check out Ultimate Night Vision like I talked about earlier. They'll be linked down below. We got the scope. Unfortunately, we weren't able to put one down the ground. But you saw how easy it was. If it's legal in your state, you put the call out there. Come back inside. I mean, I'm shooting off my back freaking porch. Two of them came in at like 150 yards. It seemed like the easiest thing in the world. I just I just suck at shooting. Pretty much is, is pretty much the explanation behind all that. But like I said, if you guys want to get into this, best way, UltimateNightVision.com. They'll be linked down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.